So you woke up one day and all of a sudden you notice that your hair is getting very, very thin. All of a sudden you notice a patch of hair just come off like that right in your hand. All of a sudden you notice that when you use your comb or your brush to brush your hair, it is just a falling out like that. After a while, some of you may notice that you now have bald spots. Some of you may also notice that you have very, very thin hair and you have a dry scalp. Now, this is nothing for you to get really too frightened about. I do know that for some people, it might be a little alarming, but thin in hair tend to happen. And especially for some of us, when we started to age, we started to notice that our hair start to become very thin so today we are gonna share some natural remedies that you can use to get rid of thinning hair you can also have to get rid of bald spot and also for your edges it can help them to be thicker and fuller and also this will help with dry scalp and it will also help with a split ends. Now, if you are watching and you find that your hair is thinning, this is for you. And if you're watching and you notice that you have split ends, you have dry scalp and your hair is just not what you want it to be, then watch the video. Today, we're gonna share some tips. We're gonna talk about seven natural ingredients. We're gonna share a few recipes and we're also gonna you know, talk about what are the causes of thin in here. Welcome to our live chat. It is Sunday and this is Sunday Chit Chat. The series has been running for over around about four years now and we're on every Sunday at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Today we are broadcasting on YouTube and we are also coming out of Facebook. So regardless of where you are watching from, please uh, free, 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 feel free to comment. If you're watching from YouTube, give us a thumbs up. And if you're watching from Facebook, give us a like and also give us any form of an emoji that is there to share. Now, let me ask you really, really quick. You're watching right now. Do you have any issue with your hair? If you have any issue with your hair, let me hear from you. Just comment, 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 and let me know what is going on with your hair. Right now, I am trying to regrow my hair. My hair is not really thin, and it's all natural. I have been trying with my hair for around about two years now, and it's doing well. Some of the remedies that I'm gonna share with you today are remedies that I am using. What is going on with your hair? 3PH Gaming, which is Rita Dress up spitting and fall out who else is having issue with your hair why do some older people have full beautiful hair we're going to talk about that why some older people have really really nice hair now when it comes up well we wait a little bit to get into it welcome andrea to the chat welcome we also have inga k i haven't seen you for a while inga k welcome i jason member of the channel welcome we also have jill who is a member now if you are looking for a quick and easy hair growth a serum that you can make at home and spray it on your scalp, spray it on your hair, and this will help to regrow your hair or help with thinning hair, help you to keep your hair thicker and fuller. At the top of the comment, I post the link. You can visit my website, chichibeauty.com, and you will get the recipe. For those of you who are on our mailing list, I send the recipe out for you all earlier so you definitely have access to the recipe but if you are interested after the show is over go to chichibuti.com for a good a really really good hair recipe for thinning hair bar spot and also dry scalp and split end now let me hear from you all now we have i am country girl here falling out in handful and so bar spot for a couple of years Shichi, i have premiere but i know this is breaking a lot and i and i mean a lot thinking of going natural anything you can recommend and we do have a lot of remedy for that idea after condition in shower the hair comes out a lot and sometimes when you're conditioning your hair you also have to mind be mindful of the kind of comb or brush that you pass through that wet ear because if it tangle a lot it could also break unnecessarily so we're gonna dive into some of those now let's take a little 
Let's see who else is commenting. Gray hair and thin in here. Um, this is Cheryl. Um, I have receding airline. Temple area has bald. So receding airline is meaning that it's pulled back, and sometimes that is caused from um, doing your braids or tightening your hair, or even wearing your wig where you put all that glue on, and that could cause your ear to be thinning at the front. Patricia, always dry and thinning. My hair is natural for many years now and graying. My hair become greasy and thinning. My scalp, um, love you as a, a blondie. Thank you for that. All right, so what are some of the reasons why this tend to happen? The major cause of thinning here is normally aging. When we age, a lot of things slow down in the system and that cause our hair to thin. It's a part of the aging process. Some people, however, get thinning here much faster than other. So those people might be from genes. If your grandpa have bald spot or your mama have very thin hair, it possibly that you might end up with a thin in here. But here are some other factors that affect their hair. You also have stress. When you stress a lot, it could cause your hair to thin, to just break out like that and just fall apart. The another major cause of thin in here is lack of certain vitamins that are known to have to keep your hair follicles stronger. Now, some of these vitamins are like vitamin A. It also um, like iron and you also have vitamin C, believe it or not, and vitamin E. Another thing that costs us to have thin in here is chemical. Whatever it is that you're using to either your perm in your ear or you're using certain kind of ear conditioner, that might not be so great for your ear. When it comes on to using a conditioner in your ear, it is always best to test it out. And when you test it for a, a week or two, and if you find that it's good, you go on. But if you find that you use a conditioner and it's breaking your hair or even a shampoo and it's making your hair break, then something in it might not be agreeable with your hair. Now, this is a quick little story for me when it comes on to buying products for my hair and it's not really working. I have an issue with that. Now, now I'm a little older, I'm a, I'm a bit different, but before then, if I go and I get a bottle of shampoo and a bottle of conditioner, you bet your bottom dollar that I am gonna finish it, okay? Because I'm not into like throwing it out, like no, no, no. I don't care if my hair feel dry when I use it, yes or no, I spend the money to get the shampoo or conditioner and I'm gonna use it. But the honest truth is not all shampoos and conditioner is good for everyone it might work for me it might not work for you because you have a lot of other things a lot of chemical compound in the body that are that do operate um, differently depending on the amount that you have in your system so definitely hair loss is different for everyone now when it comes on to stress we all go through that some people when they stress the hair just stay while some people it's just start to get thin main factor apart from aging and ear style now let's really talk about ear style most of the time when you're at the age where you know your hair should not be falling out the younger age that is let's say you're in your 20, um, 40s downwards, your hair should be healthy looking and it's thinning. It's because of your style. We take um, a lot of, we do a lot of things to the hair that really damage the hair. Okay, we perm it, we press it, we we braid it. And some people think that braid don't really break your hair. Braid do break your hair, especially if you leave it in for too long. And also nowadays everyone is wearing wig and they're you're wearing the glue. So all that glue that is covering up at the, the, the edges, they're all gone. Most of the time, we get damaged hair from the way we treat our hair. Now, we cannot tell people, no, don't treat your hair a certain way. What we can do is to tell you that if you like your hair that much, you need to use remedies or you need to use products in your hair that's gonna keep it together. Now, weeding out, weeding out all of the people that are aging, you're starting to see gray hair. 
hair. This is something that a lot of people are not aware of is that gray hair is weaker than black hair, okay? Gray hair is weaker than black hair. Now, what most people don't realize that it doesn't matter what color your hair type is, and I'm talking about the natural hair color, whether it's jet black, whether it is 4B, whether it is um, brunette, whether it is um, gold, it doesn't matter what color your hair is, natural color, when you get on in age and it's starting to gray, it's going to be white. And some of you might not be aware of that. However, you do have different shades of white where some would be like, oh, silver white or white white, but it's all going to turn to white, okay? And that is the weakest the gray hair is weaker than black hair when your hair start to grow it's all about the 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 the, the hair follicles are getting weak the the um the pigmentation that is that caused your hair to be black is basically fading i just got distracted just now so oh, bear with me anyway we are gonna go back to all of that and you can see i'm a little off but let's let me get back on track by taking some questions cynthia i'm experiencing thinning here also now that i'm older i go natural for about five years now when you are you're now going natural cynthia let me hear from you do you find that your hair still is thinning in spite of the fact that you're going natural or do you find that stop you know using all of the i'm using the word chemical in your hair now cause your hair to be thicker and fuller now um w-i-i-n-i -I -I, any shampoo that doesn't work for me i use as a also cleaner they're even better than the real thing for real and that is something new i'm learning i did not know that you can use shampoo as a also cleaner however there's one thing i know you can use shampoo as is a top cleaner but okay all right let's 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 keep it real let's be real if you're watching right now and you have tried using your shampoo to clean your tub comment 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 because i'm sure for me if i'm gonna go take a bath and i do wear makeup and sometimes when you wash that makeup off it could cause the top to get you know that makeup marking around it now while you're in that tub most people well some people tend to like to just grab a scratch scotch bright or a, a sponge and just clean the tub right away now if you don't have you know like this scouring thing what they call that you know cleanser or the spray to get rid of um but for um what they call those things um <laughs> you know, the top thing in the top that form odd water and all of that, then you need some soap, okay? Now, personally for me, I could, would use a little bit of the shampoo because it's right there. Grab that shampoo, spritz some out, put that on the thing and clean because it gets rid of grease, okay? So that's how I would use my shampoo. There are another thing that I personally, on a regular, use to clean my bathtub and is dishwashing liquid anyway we're not talking about cleaning supply no we're talking about hair care thinning hair ball spot okay so cynthia it's growing longer but not a thick it's growing longer but not thick and that is what we're talking about when you get to a certain age your hair started thin and sometimes it doesn't matter what you do you stop processing it and going all natural and it will get the length but you're not getting that body. They are things that you can do, however, to help it to get thicker and fuller and also help it to get a little extra body. And that's what we're gonna dive into. Now, TT, I have thin hair. It's hereditary. My edges were thin. I started using black castor oil and rosemary and it helped me so much. And that is one of my remedy. I am so sure of that. Now, um, Shireen Byrne. Hi, Shireen. I think you're watching from Jamaica. My hair is natural a couple of years ago, but my thing is gray hair. Now, gray hair is going to happen, okay? Gray hair is going to happen whether we want it, yes or no. And the only way to get rid of gray hair 
here is to use some form of a dye, okay? It's gonna happen and you're gonna get, you know, try to cover it a little bit and it's gonna come back. You, no matter what you do, once you start to age, the gray here is gonna happen. However, some people gray earlier than some, okay? Some people gray earlier than some. So if you're in your 40s and you're graying, it's possible that it's a little early. Um, let's say 45 is where you know most people start to see gray here however some people gray in their 20s some people gray in their 30s and that all have to do with you know the way your system all your vitamins and your minerals that is in your body all the irons that you need for your hair to to stay black for longer now um i also think i'm not giving it the tlc it need and that is another thing taking care of the hair. Most people nowadays don't really take care of their hair. I would say they think they're taking care of their hair, but they're not. What they're doing, like, you know, people are wearing a lot of wigs these days, and because they, they it's covered with the wig, they don't realize that the hair underneath need to be treated, like, I'm talking about myself now, that you need to make sure that hair is washed, at least once a week or once every two weeks especially what they call it protective style all the protective style out there where you can braid your hair and you wear something over it and you keep it on for two to three months you still need to be oiling the scalp you still need to be um you know massaging the scalp which is something we're going to talk about today and you still need to be to be adding all the nutrients that your hair need and you're going to get these nutrients from things like some of the ingredients that is on the list so i use this washing for cleaning the top also so cynthia you know, you're onto something and some people don't know that because of this washing cut that grease really really well okay it cut the grease uh, so well better than some of these cleaning project product products for sure now astral start going gray at 17 die year for year stop at 40. see what i mean and some people start to gray very very early now i was gonna dive into a lot more about what caused people to gray but i i decide i'm gonna just bypass that and just concentrate on the tinning here for today so earlier i mentioned um nutrients and vitamins which is essential for hair growth whether you're gonna eat the right food that can help your hair to grow or you're also gonna use products that are rich in the vitamins and minerals that help to stimulate hair growth now when it comes down to eating you need bright color vegetable for hair growth. These are rich in vitamin A. And the fact we talk about vitamin A on this channel so much for boots in collagen, most people are not aware that you need this vitamin A for your hair. Vitamin A is essential for growing bald spot, split ends, and you name it. The food you get the vitamin A from are mostly the bright colors like carrot is also good. So carrot is not only good for your eyes, but it is also good for your hair, whether you're gonna apply that topically. Another thing that is good for your hair topically and internally is avocado amazing for your hair it gives you all that omega-3 that you need to stimulate hair growth fatty acid is good and we also have iron now amino acid also have to boost collagen for your hair now when it comes on to circulation that's another thing we're going to talk about later on so let's move on to, let me take one question and then we move on to the very first in um ingredient organic chichi and chat yes welcome to sunday chit chat jill astral our friends start green even earlier yes loretta hello everyone good morning miss kitchi and good morning now let's go down to cactus i was trying to get some picture to share with you today but you know it's a new system and i'm still learning it however give me some time give me about six weeks or so and i'm gonna have the system down to a T where I could show pictures, okay? But, you know, learning as I go along. Now, cactus. Now, some people call it what? Prickle, prickle pear. And some people call it, I'm going to use the word tuna. Some people call it ratchet, I think. So those are some of the alias name for it. 
but cactus has become has fast become one ingredient that is known to help with thinning hair now when it comes on to cactus most of us don't have access to that cactus unless you live somewhere like in mexico and anywhere that you find that like las vegas do have a lot of cactus places that um arizona i should say places have, like those have a lot of those kind of things because it's very very dry now if you cannot get cactus to use in your hair you can actually get the ear oil they have cactus ear oil like night now they also have the cactus oil most people that try to wear like the dread or the protective style use the cactus oil in the hair it helped tremendously now personally if you can get someone was telling me that there was some place here in new york that you could get the cactus to buy now cactus is very 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 similar to aloe vera gel okay it's very similar to the aloe okay it's basically like you know the same kind of thing now you can just get that cactus if you have access to it cut it open and scrape out that inside and rub it in your hair or you can definitely just not scrape it at all just cut it out rub it in the hair you can scrape it blend it shake it up put it in your hair put a shower cap over it or a steam cap sit under a dryer and get the best result from that cactus it's an old remedy to be honest but it just kind of start to get fully on stream like run right about four years or so ago it started to really really take over that because it worked now i grew up using this cactus for me it's tuna i think if you're jamaican you know it as tuna and we normally use that tuna to wash the hair it is good back then it is good for dandruff if you find that you have a lot of dandruff this is what works very very well now you just cut it open it as i said and you use it on your hair if you're watching and you don't know what we're talking about you don't know what the cactus really is i am going to show you a, a picture of the cactus right now and as i said you have several different names for it but this is what it is and it comes in a wide variety okay there's a all right so this is this is a good example let's see if it's going to load up for me of what the cactus is okay now i don't know if you could see that and let's put it on this side trying to get rid of my ring light now this is this is a good and you can see they also sell the plant that's that is cactus and that is the one that is in full bloom i also noticed that they use this green part and they also use the bloom there to make the cactus oil so if you have can get your hands and you can also get the cactus ear oil or the cactus itself on amazon to buy pickly prickly pear is what some people call it if you have tried cactus before go ahead and comment right now and then we're going to move on to our second ingredient now golden child Cynthia I take a tablespoon every day all right yes golden child it takes time but it's worth it we use it to wash shampoo here in Jamaica yes that's the cactus which we call the tuna do you how do you take molasses like Okay, so when it's talking about molasses, and molasses I, is something I recently learned that is good for thinning hair also. Now, molasses is used for many other things, and one day I probably will do a show sharing the many benefits of molasses. And if you do not know what molasses is, it's what you get, like the first part after you're making sugar, it's a, the, the, let's say the dregs then of the first stage of sugar molasses then after the molasses process then it goes on to turn in into into the granules now um i just saw a comment bella is cactus oil good for thickening here yes yes that's that is what we're saying if you do not have access to the cactus itself you can go ahead and you can get the cactus oil or the cactus hair oil works like a charm the way to use the cactus ear oil to stimulate ear growth and to thicken the hair is to use it on the scalp so you get that oil and you part your hair in small portion you apply it on the scalp and here is one of the natural remedies that i'm also going to share at the end near to the end of the video Video for regrowing that hair and thickening the hair and getting rid of thinning hair is to massage the scalp so when whatever you're applying on the scalp just like your face 
that you massage all your beauty products on, that is what goes for the scalp. You need to massage your scalp. And this is one natural remedy that is extremely free, okay? It is extremely free. You do not have to spend not a dime to massage your scalp. However, if you want to get fancy, then you can go and you could buy a scalp massager. But your hands are just as good and you get deep into it and you really massage that scalp. And if you can do that every day, it is boots in circulation. And that is what you need to thicken your hair along with some of these remedies that you're using. If you're joining, welcome to the live chat. And if you're watching from Facebook, give us a like. And if you're watching from YouTube, give us a thumbs up. Don't be afraid to take part. You know, comment, comment. We're talking about remedies and ingredients that can regrow your hair, get rid of bald spot, help with thinning hair, thinning hair for thicker, fuller hair. Now, we also have a recipe, a water recipe that, you know, I'm calling it a serum for your hair, but it is made up of mostly water-based. And I post the link on the top of the chat. You can click on that link and get that recipe. If you have thinning hair, that is the recipe for you. And the ingredients are easy to come by. Click on the link when the show is over. Go to my 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 website, chichibuti at gmail. No, chichibuti.com, and you will get that recipe. However, if you want to email for the recipe, you can. So email chichibuti at gmail.com. So organic bucket of life. I start um, massaging my scalp when I start your skincare challenge. Feel wonderful. And yes, this is something that I do share a lot that you need to massage your scalp. Sometimes we're so focused on our face and you know, the rest of our body and we totally forget about the hair. But if you can massage your scalp on a regular, you're on your way to get in your hair to be thicker and fuller along with using some of these ingredients. And I share a, um, a little trick with you recently. Some of you are new, so you might not know this trick where you can actually bend your head over and flip it back and that is gonna give a rush and that is also gonna help to stimulate the scalp to for faster hair growth. Welcome to the chat, Lioness. I hope you're having an uh, amazing day. Hi, Jackie Mom. Hi, Pauline. Hello again, switching from YouTube to Facebook. I would prefer for you to watch on YouTube, Pauline. Anyway, most of you are familiar with Pauline. That's my cousin. And I also have a cousin who is now following me on here, and that's Andrea. Shout out to all the family members that are watching the live today. I love you all and you all know how much I really, really and truly love you, my family. Now, I don't want to switch off into family because when I talk about family, guys, I get very emotional. I don't know why, but when I talk about my family, I get so emotional because the love, the love that I have for my family sometimes get a little, you know, a little much. All right, so let's move on. Um, I saw watching on YouTube. Thank you for that. Now, um, Rita, how long do you keep the cactus oil in your ear? Overnight. No, like for your hair, Rita, you definitely need to only apply it on the scalp. And you do not need a lot because you don't want your hair to be limp, okay? So you're going to take a little bit and massage it on the scalp and leave it on the scalp. I don't know how often you wash. If you wash every day, you rinse it out the next day. Leave it until the next wash. Leave it until the next wash. So if you wash every day, you have to apply a little every day after you wash. Just a little, not a lot, only on the scalp. And if you have split end, you put a little bit in your hands like I don't have anything here to put unless it's my hand sanitizer, but this one is like such a liquid. And you put a little bit in your hands like this. Let's see if it's my hand sanitizer. Oh, yes, it is. I can't put this in my hair. But you put a little in your hands and you just rub it on the, the hand of your hair if you have split end. But definitely you apply it only to the scalp and leave it for the next wash. All right, so massaging the scalp every day. Very, very important. Um, Carl Cruz, I am with Zahara. My hair just shed. I've tried to too many different things. I'm always massaging my head hard. So your hair is just a shedding. Now remember, if you're just joining at the top of the hour, we talk about the essential nutrients that you need for your body to help your hair to grow. Eating have a lot to do with your hair. 
heating, whatever you eat, have a lot to do with your hair. Now, let's take a minute to just think about this. There's almost everything that you do in life when it comes on towards health, they're going to tell you that you need to eat right. Okay? You need to eat right. Let's think about it. You want to lose weight. They tell you to eat right. Okay? You want your skin to look good. They tell you to eat right. You want to be healthy. They tell you to eat right. Now I'm telling you that if you want your hair to grow nice, you got to eat right. The bottom line is we all need to be eating right, okay? We all need to be eating right. Just think about it. If we were able to eat just the way we are supposed to eat, a balanced meal with all the vitamins and minerals that are essential to keep the body going and weed out all of the bad stuff, what is considered bad stuff or like excess, and notice I use the word excess because I like to practice what I preach. Excess process of food. Excess processed food have a lot to do with too much salt is not good for the hair. And too much salt, also you're going to hear that it's not good for certain other things, the up and down of pressure and all of that kind of a thing that we can talk about right now on this live chat. But eating right also help your hair to grow, okay? It also help to get rid of thinning hair. So eating right and exercising. Exercising is another thing. You'll be like, oh, we're talking about hair or we're talking about weight loss? Are we talking about keeping healthy? Yes, we're talking about hair. If you exercise, and I'm gonna tell you a true story, and this is what happened to me, and this is my true story when it comes on to my hair. I used to be like addicted to working out. I'm working out AM and I'm working out PM, okay? I was um, about 160 at the time. That was my highest weight. And I went from 160 to 125, fluctuating between 120 to 125 pounds. And I was like that. I kept that up and I had that for years and years and years and years, okay? Now, for the past couple of years, four years, I'm saying about three to four years is when I get back this weight. But all along, I was swinging from a size two to a size four. Size four used to be my max. When I used to work out, my hair would grow like crazy. Honest story. My hair would grow like crazy. My hair would feel thicker, fuller, and everything like that. Nice, healthy looking hair. When I stop working out, my hair is just like, what is going on here? What is going on here? What is going on here? So I'm just saying this to say working out help with a lot of things, not only about shedding pounds and looking cute and nice in your new, you know, bath suit or something like that. It have a lot to do with what goes on in the body. It boosts the circulation and it's also a help with all of the nutrients that you're eating. It have to process it better in the system, causing your hair to grow, your nails to look healthy and all of that. So if you're someone that work out or have, you know, the access to working out, I'm saying that because the last time I was talking about working out, I also need to know that some people just cannot work out like that for health reason. That is why they, you know, talk about the chair working out and all of that. But if you can, it is really, really good. And if you find that your hair is thinning and you can start, you know, that little workout thing going for you, give it a try and see what happened. Now, if you're just joining, welcome to our Sunday Chit Chat. Sunday Chit Chat, we talk about basically anything. Today, we're talking about thinning hair and ingredients and remedies that you can use to get rid of thinning hair, bar spot, receding ear line, and also split ends and dry scalp. Now, what about leaving daily treasures? Um, not sure what you're talking about, Cynthia. Let me know. I'm a size four now from two to four. Oh, Cynthia, you're just showing off. I know you, were, you weren't even doing that weight loss challenge, were you? Um, I'm just trying to get back there. I mean, yeah, I've been using um, a year Vida for my ear care. One product is fenugreek seed on powder form. It can be used on hair, rents or infusing oils. The Indian world is methe. That is the name of the fenugreek. Now, fenugreek, I have a recipe on my channel page using the fenugreek, showing you how to make the fenugreek water. Now, the recipe that I shared today on the website that you can go and get that serum, you can also use a bit of the fenugreek water in that. For those of you who do not know what fenugreek is or fenugreek, I normally say geek, but it's fenugreek. It's um, 
and she said some places they call it the um what um metai i hope i'm pronouncing it right that has now also take over where a lot of people are finding it to be very very helpful in regrowing the hair now if you are not familiar let me show you what it looks like and i'm just going to show a little bit of the seeds right here that is the fenugreek um seeds and you can choose to boil it or you can choose choose to just brew it and let it cool and you can use it um to wash your hair similar to the rice water the recipe i shared with you today contain rice water when you're making that recipe if you have the fenugreek you can just throw a, a tablespoon in the recipe i shared and that is going to take it to the next level really really help or you can check out my website um youtube my recipe that i use the fenny week in for here watch really really great now let's continue with the ingredients because i get lost now aloe vera gel aloe vera gel just like the cactus is good for the hair you can use a fresh aloe vera gel as a matter of fact I would suggest that if you can get your hands on the fresh aloe, that is what you need. You scrape that aloe vera gel out, scrape it out, and if you have a blender, blend it. If you do not have a blender, you can pound on it like this. Just make it get all that smell slimy, 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 and you're going to apply that on your scalp just like you do the aloe vera the, the cactus now cover your hair with that make enough your the entire head scalp and everything put a steam cap over it walk around with it for about an hour or two or guess what if you have an ear dryer does people still have ear dryer let me know if you still have an ear dryer and i'm not talking about the 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 blow dryer now i'm talking about the cap one i went in my basement the other day and guess what was there looking at me my ear dryer the cap one but then almost every old soul of her ear dryer and if you know what i'm talking about just come in nowadays i'm not even sure if people still use this cap ear dryer where you put your steam cap on you go under it and you sit and you let that hair steam or when you you know you wash your hair you put it in those rollers i don't even see people do they still wear rollers let me know because your girl has been missing from these things for a year for years now i um when I do wash my hair now, one thing that really works well for me is um, my cousin Pauline, who's on the chat, actually introduced me to this, this comb, this brush that is electric that you can just plug it in and you can just use it and you can just get out all of the knots and all of that out of your hair. It's really not uh, um, pressing your ear per se, but it's making your hair very light, so manageable. That is all I use in my hair these days. So what is it? Does people still use those hair dryer? Let me hear from you. Um, um, Fenugreek and aloe vera, a good combination. Very, very good. Fenugreek and aloe vera. Now you can also choose to use the store-bought aloe vera gel. I'm very skeptical about that for your hair, okay? Listen carefully. I'm very skeptical about the store-bought aloe vera gel unless you're gonna use the one that is a 100% natural. 100% natural meaning that 98% aloe vera gel and the other 2% is the preservative that is made from natural ingredients. The one that is very, very watery, and I use a lot of those on my channel. If you watch my channel and I use a green bottle one, which is long, and a black bottle one that is long, those are the two better ones. The one that I'm using in the round thing on the videos, that one is good for leave on, but not for your hair, okay? Not for your hair. So fresh aloe vera gel is the one I'm talking about. If not, those 98% aloe vera gel, and I think I have a few links below this video that you can just use on the scalp and use it also to wash your ear. Works like a charm. Now let's talk about, this is one of my now new favorite is rosemary. And so some of you use this as a spice, not a spice, as a herb. I love me some rosemary, okay? I think the next herb in line to basil, basil is my favorite herb. I use basil, I eat it in anything. I sprinkle it on my salad. I want it on my eggs. And I just want, and yes, you might be like, eggs, I thought you were vegan. I'm talking about vegan eggs, of course. But if I'm making eggs for my family, of course, I'm gonna sprinkle some, some basil leaf. I just love the taste. I like the taste of it. 
And the next um, herb that I like a lot is rosemary. I like the flavor of the rosemary. I like the scent of it. I just like that rosemary. I used to make a really good um, baked chicken that I just rub that rosemary on it, like all over it. And when you take it and you cut it and oh, the flavor is great. But what do you know? Rosemary is great for your hair. Rosemary, you can choose to infuse it. The recipe I share with you all contain rosemary, okay? So be mindful. If you do not have the fresh rosemary, use the dry one for the recipe because you're gonna be basically boiling it for a while. You're just gonna boil that water. When the water starts to boil, you dump the rice and you dump that rosemary in it and you just turn the stove off put it aside and let that brew overnight, okay? Now, for those of you with the fennel geek, if you want to, you could add a tablespoon of fennel geek to that. You set it aside. That's basically the recipe, but the full recipe is on the, the website. Now, rosemary also contains antibacterial properties, which makes it amazing for itchy scalp if you find that you're itching a lot the scalp is dry then the rosemary is good now after you make that rosemary water that i share on the recipe today you can spread that in your hair but here what you can make your own ear oil using the rosemary okay you can actually choose to blend a bunch of rosemary preferably the green one for this and you can blend it up in some oil your favorite oil i suggest either coconut oil or olive oil or sweet almond oil. You blend that oil in and you can add a little bit of a castor oil and a little essential oil if you have little lavender essential oil to give it a nice fragrance. When you blend that out, you just pour that out in a container, you cover it and you leave it there for a couple of days. Okay, a couple of days. What you're doing, you're extracting all of that oil from the rosemary. Um, you're infusing it, okay? But I suggest you crush it up nice by blending it and setting it aside. That means you get everything from that rosemary. A couple of days after that, you go, you take a cheesecloth or a whole merino or a good strainer and you strain that off. And what you have left is that oil. That is the oil you're gonna use for your dry scalp. You're gonna use it on your split end. And like Rita, you're here, just two to three drops. You rub it in your hands and you drag your hands through your hair like that. Help a lot, including massaging that scalp. Works like a charm. One of the honest truth out of all these recipes that I'm sharing, one of the best leave on that I'm sharing in today's video. All right, so let's take some comments. And if you have tried the rosemary before, go ahead and comment. Let me hear from you. And um, I what is the best remedy for thinning hair? I just gave it to you. I just gave it to you. Don't forget the Jamaican black castor oil. Okay. Um, hi, makeup forever. Welcome, Georgia. Yes, I still have my hair dryer, even though my hair done natural. I use it whenever I'm steaming my hair. So someone know what I'm talking about. The cat ear dryer that a lot of us used to have that we don't. And I'm wondering, I think to be honest, um, I think is the the fact that most people are going natural while you don't really see those ear dryers because most of us used to use it to steam the hair or we used to use it to dry our hair when we put on all those rollers and we go on the hair there and sit down for the curl. Maya, I use those herbs, but I infuse them in olive oil for six weeks. So Maya is recommending six weeks, okay? And I'm I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna fight that down. I think the longer the better, okay? I think the longer the better. So if you can just infuse those oil, those herbs in that oil, the rosemary for your hair for six weeks and throw some fenugreek seed in there, then it's going to be even better. How about eliminating frizz? The remedy that I shared on the website is also good for frizzy hair. It's a water base. It's water. It's going to be a spray thing that you spritz in your hair. Go and check out the recipe when the show is over. It is also in the comment on the top of the hour i post it on the on it's on the website now margaret i usually cut and soak the cactus in water overnight and use it the next day so here is somebody that is very familiar with the cactus okay some people call it prick a pear now someone is using it for weight loss also see what i mean it's like when you really think about it everything that you do when it comes on to health 
have something to do with your hair or your body. I have no idea that you could use a prickly pear for weight loss. And here is someone saying it is also good for weight loss. I'm pretty sure I've seen this in the produce section. Yes, Inga K, depending on where you live, someplace. And someone is telling me that they do have it here, the cactus that is in, in New York. I could find the cactus just as though you find the aloe vera gel. I am yet to look for it, but I am gonna. Jackie Mom, molasses, egg white, and orange for nerves. And I have a recipe on my channel. I know you guys were talking about molasses. We're not sidetracking from the hair, but I have a recipe on my channel using molasses. As a matter of fact, it's a recipe from my father that I made and I share it with, you know, the, the, the male version of my channel, you know, to help with um, a lot of things like what she's saying. And some of you might not have seen that recipe. It's an old recipe, but it is there. And I use like the molasses in it and some other, and the egg, the egg, raw egg that is. And orange juice also is, by the way, Jackie mom, where did you get this recipe from? All right, let me hear how you come up with this because yes, it's very, very similar to the one that um, my father used to make. Anyway, let's move on. We're talking about here. If you're just joining, welcome. If you're watching from Facebook, give us a like. And there's a little thumbs up thing on Facebook also. Give us a little emoji, a little heart or something. And if you're watching from YouTube, you know the norm, you know the drill. Give us a thumbs up and comment. That is how the system know that you're enjoying. And you're trying to support our channel. All you need to do is give us a thumbs up. Really, really help. Now, what did you miss? You miss us talking about some of the natural ingredients that you can use for thinning hair, bald spot, and also receding hairline. We talk about cactus, aloe vera gel, rosemary. Now let's talk a little bit about this one. And this one tends to get a bad rap. Now if you're on the chat right now watching and you have tried the onion juice in your hair, go ahead and comment, 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 comment. Now I made this recipe and I share it on my YouTube channel using the onion juice. However, I, like some of you, don't like that strong pungent scent from the onion. So what I use in it is some lavender essential oil. You can also use the basil essential oil. Now let's take a look at this little video that I, this is a clipping from one of the videos that I made on the channel using the onion. Now, just watch this and don't go away. Don't click off. Just watch this. this. Onion is good for your ear overall. Onion works against dandruff. It also helps to add volume to your hair. Onion also helps to reduce breaking and thinning hair. All of this is due because of its high sulfur content. The sulfur is essential for regeneration of ear follicles. Onion pulps can nourish your ear follicles and replenish the nutrients that you have lost from your scalp. Now to prepare the onion, you can choose to use a blender or you can choose to grate the onion. I have a blender, so I am going to be blending. Now before I blend, I'm going to chop it in small pieces for easier blending and the juice from the onion. So just use a strainer or a cheesecloth and extract the juice. And here we have our fresh onion juice and now let's move on to the other ingredients now let's take a look at our next ingredient which is aloe vera gel today i'm using the store bought however if you have fresh aloe vera gel it is much much better for this recipe now aloe vera gel will help to repair dead skin cells on the scalp it acts as a great conditioner and leave your hair smooth and shiny aloe vera help to promote hair growth prevent itching on the scalp reduce dandruff and condition your ear now our next ingredient is castor oil and castor oil is known to help to grow your hair thicken your hair it has been used for centuries for this purpose now castor oil contain an ingredient called rhinconelic acid now when you use this rhinconelic acid on your hair this is what is going to seep deep into the ear follicles and cause the hair to grow stronger and thicker so i'm going to be using about one teaspoon of 
of the castor oil in this recipe. And now let's move on to the other ingredient, which is a vitamin E oil. Now, vitamin E oil is a friendly oil to your hair. You can actually pour vitamin E oil in your favorite ear oil. Vitamin E oil will help to moisturize the scalp and it also will help to boost circulation. So I'm going to use about a teaspoon of the vitamin E oil depending on your IU. Mine is 28,000 IU. If you have a lesser IU like about a 5,000, use a tablespoon of the vitamin E oil in this. So here in my bowl, I have aloe vera gel, I have castor oil, and I have vitamin E oil. So our next ingredient that we're going to add to this is our onion juice. Before I do so, let's just blend this a little bit. As you can see, the castor oil is very, very heavy and it's not going to mix out that easily if you're using a spoon. You can choose to use a fork to whisk it or you can choose to pour it back in the blender. I'm going to pour it back in the blender for a smoother mixture. So let's just reach for the blender now a quick tip for you if you want this to have a very pleasant smell you can choose to use some rosemary oil or some lavender oil it's gonna cut down on the strong onion smell which is gonna make this more pleasant for your hair so that is a quick and easy way to use the onion in your hair. Really, really good. If you want a full video, I kind of chopped this video up for the show, but I put the link below in the description box where you can see the full length video, exactly how we prepare this for your hair. Now, after you blend all of that, you're going to set that aside for a day or two, and then you're going to use it on your scalp. Now, this is a rinse out, so you're going to use it on the scalp, massage it in the hair, and you're going to put that steam cap over it or that shower cap and when you put it over it you're going to let it sit on your hair for if you're just walking around an hour or so if you have that steam cap um at dryer you can go under it for about 30 minutes and that is amazing for the hair you can choose to use that in your hair at least once a week or once every two weeks rinse out really really well and it will have to grow regrow your hair and this is also also very good for itchy scalp and also good for split ends if you have any comment go ahead and comment right now is massaging your scalp help your hair to grow yes loretta that is something that i like i am hooked on the jamaican black castor oil and that is coming from um it just went by but anyway i mean yeah i use the onion as well but i wash and boil the onion peel and then get the same result as using the fresh you can put a little um piece of the flesh if you like okay so someone is using just the peel and the reason for using just the peel is because that is dry and when it is dry you don't get that strong pungent scent so if you are trying to use the onion and you don't want to use the fresh part you can start to store all of those peel it's the same thing okay it's just that it's dried and when it's dry the less it um you know the scent of it so put away those peel off and store them in a bag and then you can boil if not just blend up that onion like i show here and use some you know scented essential oil and that's going to help to take the scent out that recipe is also another amazing it's actually the second best that i'm sharing with you today if you're tried before comment comment and if you're just joining we're sharing tips and how to get rid of thinning hair how to get your hair to be thicker and fuller now does the jamaican black castor oil as an expiration date i have that oil and it has lime and mango someone shared that with me before in it i found it in my cabinet i had it for two years that is gonna be good this in your cabinet it's shut away in a dark place normally when you have those oil put them away in a dark area and it's gonna be good if you take that oil out and when you smell it you anyone know what rancid is if it smell rancid it's no good but if it don't smell rancid then that is good to go especially the fact that is in the dark cabinet now the aloe vera gel that i use in this recipe is the one that i was telling you that is a hundred percent pure aloe vera gel that is the good aloe vera gel if you're going to use it in your hair now the aloe vera gel that you're going to find out there that is very thick and jelly like you do not need that for your hair okay you need the one that is watery like the one i share if not definitely use the fresh aloe vera gel for 
or you're here. If you're just joining, welcome to the show. If you're watching from Facebook, give us a thumbs up. If I mean a like, a little emoji, whatever over there. And if you're watching from YouTube, the platform, give us a thumbs up and share your findings. We're talking about here and we're sharing tips with each other how to get rid of thin in here we just talked about cactus which they're also called prickly pear we spoke about aloe vera gel rosemary and we just finished with castor oil now let's move on to the next ingredient that is good for the hair and look on the screen guys how many of you have tried the rice water how many of you have tried the rice water the rice water is amazing i just want to know that too that's from Loretta. there's a question um smell oh we talk about the smell let's talk about the smell if you're talking about the smell from the onion or the smell from the castor oil i know it's the onion what we use is an essential oil any of your favorite essential oil will combat the scent of the onion you have the lavender essential oil orange essential oil or you can also try the um did i mention lavender the basil essential oil if you have any other fragrance nowadays they have some amazing essential oil fragrance however different essential oil is used for different things okay but they have like essential oil that are floral like hibiscus and all these kind of thing you have like mango essential oil you can tip a little just to cut down on and it's not gonna affect the hair but the two that is also good for here is the lavender essential oil and also the basil essential oil and if you want that fragrant to go away then use those a lot now let's talk about rice water there are many ways to make the rice water it has been used for centuries in the hair and most people swear by the rice water the rice water really really works now the way to make the rice water is normally the issue for some people they prefer to just get that rice and they just pour that water on it wash that rice in it and strain it off and that is what they use in the hair most people think that that is the best one to use for hair growth now personally for me i make more than one videos on my channel i use the regular way and i also use this other way which i think is my favorite for the rice water i feel my hair feel more silkier i feel my hair is more manageable when i make it like this i boil the water so i take let's say two cups of water i pour it in a pot as soon as it start to boil i pour that rice in it now i'm mixing it with the fenugreek but anyway i pour the on the rosemary i pour the rice in it i turn off the stove right away give it a stir turn the stove off right away and leave it now when it is cooled like a day after i go and i just rub that rice and strain it off and that is the one that i personally preferred some people make it different some people like soak that rice wash it really well and then they use that rice water i find the one where i pour it in the hot water i'm not cooking the rice i'm just blanching it in the hot water set it overnight strain it off now when you strain that rice water up first of all there are many things that you can add to that this is really really good for your hair and if you have not tried the rice water i would suggest that you said you, you try it i boil the rice as well and then strain up so Aminia is really taking care of her hair she's doing a lot of things she's boiling the rice and strain off i boil the water up pour the rice in it stir it and turn it off okay now zara can we talk um can we talk about what to eat to make your hair thicker and stronger and stopping excess shedding yes we're going to talk about we did mention a bit uh, earlier on we talk about the different kind of vitamins vitamin a is really really good and you can eat food that is rich in vitamin a i think we spoke about this so let me hurry and tell you what we talk about bright color vegetable like sweet pe pepper squash carrots um pumpkin those are good for hair growth you also make sure to have food that are rich in iron well you know iron is, is there's a cutoff on the amount that you should you also have calcium and magnesium these you're gonna find in some of the food you eat and they also have supplement that you can take but before you take any supplement you go ahead and you consult your doctor we're not doctor on here so you need to make sure everything is okay and know the amount that you need to take but these are some of the food you also have like um fish like salmon which is rich in omega-3 and avocado is another food that is good for your hair okay all right so let's move on we did talk about it you could rewind 
go to the beginning of the video if you want more on what to eat. So rice water, if you are using um, Diana, I'm going to try the rice water. I heard about it, but never tried. Margaret, uh, okay, two people talking. All right, so yes, when you get that rice water, two ways that I just mentioned that you can use the rice water. You can either boil it or you can just you know, pour it on and leave it. Now, the beauty about using the rice water is that you can add other things to it. Have you ever think about getting that aloe vera, not the gel now, the aloe vera peel when you cut it open and you scrape out that gel and the peel that is left, you drop that in the, the pot with the rice and you, you add some um, castor oil and some fenugreek seed to that and you just let that cover up and steam down for days or two and then you strain that off and use it in your hair. That is getting the best from the aloe vera for your hair and that is coming from the peel. That's going to have to regrow your hair. Rice water, you can really play with it, especially if you boil the water first. And also when you do it this way, it keep it much, much longer. When you make the rice water just by pouring and washing, that could go bad. It gets a little sour easier, but when you, um, when fermented, that is the word instead of sour, but when you boil it and you leave it, it's, it's, it's like it's just seal it, okay? Now, Sharon, I was going to try the rice water, but I caught some in a bottle, and by the time it's ready to use, it smells awful. See what I mean? And that's what I'm talking about. It's it's the fermentation process, so it's always good to add things to it. You can also add the basil to the rice water. That is good. And the rosemary, you can add to the rice water when you're making it. So if you're brewing it with the boiled water, pour it in, pour some basil, pour some rosemary, set it aside. Nice fragrant. You got to keep it in the refrigerator though. Keep it in the refrigerator for a longer shelf life. The video I just shared, you notice I use a bit of a vitamin E oil and the vitamin E oil, we're using it as a preservative. Now we're mixing oil with water. So you know what that is. You got to blend it when you're using any form of oil in it, but the vitamin E, and if you don't have the vitamin E, there's a good substitute. If you have the, um, the vegetable glycerin, which is water-based, it's best. It's going to keep it a little longer, at least three to four days longer. Remember, after seven days, anything that you have that, you know, it's going to start to form some form of a bacteria. So the, opposite, the, the vegetable glycerin or the vitamin E oil help to prevent that fast grow of bacteria. And remember, bacteria do forms whether or not you have it in the refrigerator. Now, on that is rice water. You can check out my recipes that I have um, with rice water, or you can check out you know, other people recipes on YouTube using the rice water. Now, before I go, I need, okay, someone was asking about food and I did have a ticker here. So here are the foods going across. This is what you need. You can just go ahead and read that. Um, food that may boost hair growth. I did have it, just didn't remember that I have it. Now let's talk a really, really quick about the castor oil, okay? We're gonna talk really quick about the castor oil. Now this is Sunday Chit Chat, if you're just joining, welcome, we're talking about here today. Thinning hair, how to get rid of thinning hair, how to get rid of bald spot, how to get rid of even dandruff and split end and how to get a fuller, thicker head of hair. Now one of my favorite thing to use as an oil is the castor oil and I play the video and in case you're just joining and you missed that video I'm not gonna play it over because my bird was making like everlasting noise in that video I cannot believe the amount of screaming that bird was doing but anyway now castor oil is one of my personal favorite and a lot of you favorite for regrowing hair and bald spot. In the video, I mentioned the many benefits of the castor oil, the rinsalilic acid, and that rinsalilic acid in castor oil. Let's talk a little bit really, really quick about Jamaican black castor oil. I use the word Jamaican black castor oil because that's where you get most of the black castor oil from. And you have the castor oil, which look really white. And some of you always be confused. What is the difference between the white castor oil and the black castor oil? Oil. Now here is the difference. The white castor oil is normally like first press, cold press. They take that castor bean and they extract the oil from it without using any form of a heat source. 
there you're going to get that white castor oil. Is that white castor oil good? Yes, that white castor oil is very, very good for you. I think that that is really good. The better one, to be honest, maybe for consumption. But when it comes on to the Jamaican black castor oil, the reason why it is black is because this now go through the roasting process, okay? They have to roast the castor bean. However, however, what makes this castor oil, the Jamaican, let's say just black castor oil, the black castor oil very effective in regrowing your hair for thinning hair and bald spot is this ingredient that it contain called rinsalilic acid. Now the regular white castor oil, believe it or not, does not have the rinsalilic acid. And why is that so? Because it's cold pressed, it's first pressed. The black castor oil is roasted and in order for rinsalilic acid to be released, the castor oil, the castor beans have to be roasted, okay? So roasted castor oil have rinsalilic acid the white one does not have that rinsalilic acid you need the rinsalilic acid to stimulate hair growth so that is the difference so if you're gonna ask you want to take a spoon of castor oil yes you have the white go ahead and take it if you want to take a spoon of the black one is still okay but if you want hair growth if you want your nails to grow, your eyebrows to grow, your eyelashes to grow, then go for the black castor oil. Whether it's, it's Jamaican black castor oil, yes or no, once it is castor oil, because you now have that rinsolilic acid, and that's what makes the castor oil great. You can make the, use the castor oil directly on the scalp, however, it is so thick, it's not spreadable, so I like to mix it. Mix it with a good old coconut oil. I'm telling you, I grew up using coconut oil in my hair, and it's not the worst. And if you don't want to use a coconut oil, just think about this. This cactus oil that they have out there, mix it with this castor oil, use it on your scalp, double whammy, double whammy. Now, another way you can use this castor oil, you mix it with the vitamin E oil. And that is also going to help. You mix it with the good old avocado oil. Avocado oil is just good for everything. It's good for your hair, your nails, your face, your skin. It's just good all over, okay? So go ahead and use up the castor oil. And now that you know the difference, which makes it even better. Let me ask some com take some comments, and then we're going to move on. Chichi, can I use castor oil as hair oil in my hair? Yes, that's how we're using it. But it's so thick that you need to mix it with a carrier oil. Carrier oils like sweet almond oil, carrot seed oil, um, grape seed oil, coconut oil, one of my favorite to mix with the castor oil. You can even use some olive oil, okay? All right, so if you're just joining, Veronica, good afternoon, hope all is well. I am you, I use um, eavesdrop, I think this is thin in my ear in the onion mix good for my hair. The, yes, the onion, I'm not sure in what you're using, but yes, the onion is good. It's just the scent of it. And that's why sometimes it gets a bad rap. But if you can, you know, use that onion juice on your hair, it will help. And when you rinse that off, do a good leave on, like the cactus oil or the castor oil. These are leave on. The only time you rinse this castor oil out is if you're steaming your hair. You can massage it on the scalp, put that steam cap on, go under that dryer again. Or, you know, you do, you do the, have some now that you push the blow dryer through this thing and it just steam the hair. You can do that. But the best way is to put that steam cap on, walk around for about an hour or two in your home, and then you rinse that out. Works like a child. Now, one of my favorite things to do, which I mentioned earlier, is to make sure that you're massaging the skin on a daily, okay? Massage the scalp on a daily. If you can massage the scalp on a regular, you're on your way to amazing, fuller, thicker hair, okay? These are some of the food that I have um, to talk about that I'm just uh, sharing with you that is uh, going across the screen. Now, let me take some comment because it's time for the show to be over. However, let me make some quick announcement. We are doing a 25 day skincare challenge on this website and this channel on YouTube. And this is at 7.30 p.m. Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So we're gonna be on tomorrow night. We're gonna be on Tuesday night. 
um, Thursday night and Friday night. Now, most people already have their printout for the 25 day skincare challenge. Tomorrow morning, when you go on my website, Chichi Beauty at um, chichibeauty.com, you're going to see the printout from day 14 to day 22. Okay, the printout is going to be there from day 14 to 22. Come on over Monday night, 7.30 p.m. Depending on where you live, make sure it's Eastern Standard Time for us to discuss that printout. If you want to transform your skin from dull, rough-looking skin to bright, glowing skin, check us out. Now, we also have a weekday show Monday to Thursday every day at 12 noon. This is a live chat that we discuss current affair, lifestyle, you name it. Check us out tomorrow, Monday to Thursday at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time for that series. We're running that series for the month of April. If you like it that much and we see that you're responding to it, we will keep it going. But for now, we're running the series just for April. So weekdays, Monday to Thursday, at noon Eastern Standard Time for weekdays with Chichi Beauty. Now, if you're just joining us, we're talking about here today. We are getting rid of thinning here. We're getting rid of bald spot, and we're also, you know, boots in um, circulation um, in the hair. Now, the ingredients that are good, the seven natural ingredients that is good to regrow your hair is the cactus, aloe vera gel, rosemary, onion juice castor oil, rice water, and we talk a lot today about fennel geek, so we're going to add the fennel geek. I didn't mention egg today because, you know, but egg is also good. You can blend that egg up with some avocado, and you can use it as a hair mask that will help to grow the hair. That's a rinse out. You apply it on the hair, and that's an old remedy, old remedy, but a very effective remedy for your hair. Now, my time is up. I'm taking two more questions, and then I'm going away. Thank you so much for joining today. Um, so welcome, and tomorrow we're going to be on, and tomorrow we're going to be on YouTube and Facebook at the same time, 12 noon. Check us out. And if you want to be on that show, if you want to be on that show, you got to let me know. If you want to be on the show, send me an email because you got to get the link and all of that before you can get on. I cannot just come on now and ask a question and get you on. It don't work like that. We got to make arrangements and all of that, but we can get you on the show. If you have anything that you want to share with us, let's say you work out a lot, you want to share that, you can cook good. We're looking for a chef. Andre, if you're still watching, we're looking for a chef for the show. You can come on and you know do a thing. My cousin Pauline, you want to be on the show? You can come on. We can talk about some health stuff. You're more than qualified for that, legal, able to. We can come on and talk about that. And anyone else out there that have you know little things going, we want to invite you to the show. Just send a topic to us. Tell us what you are into, what you'd like to talk about, and we could get you on the midday show. I really would like the midday show to continue. And I know with you know you all coming on, it's gonna make it a much better show. So send us your information at chichibeauty at gmail.com. And just let us know why you want to be on the show and what you have to contribute to the show. Thank you so much for watching today, guys. And I'm looking forward to seeing some of you tomorrow, midday. And I'm looking forward to seeing some of you for the 25 Days Skincare Challenge. Be good to yourself. Sunday Chit Chat has been running for a while. We're always going to have it on 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every Sunday. So even if you don't get a notification, come on over Eastern Standard Time 4.30 on a Sunday and we will be here. Thank you so much. And thank you for, you know, being who you are always always supporting have a good week watch the video we post this morning it's a very good video we have a dry recipe that you can take around with you when you're ready to use it you had whatever liquid you want to add to it it's a skin tightening wrinkle fighting and also a collagen boots in dry remedy so go and watch it if you didn't they're not you know sending that around today i don't know why maybe some of you don't know it's there but check it out when the show is over and also go on the website for the recipe for the hair serum and look below if you want to see the video that we feature the link to the full video is in the description box below thank you all and i'll see you soon